Recently, it came to light that Rachel Dolezal, head of the Spokane area chapter of the NAACP, had been falsely presenting herself as a black woman, despite having been born to biologically white parents. Intrigued, we searched for others hiding who they truly were in an attempt to examine the psychology of such a decision. Kenny Vincent is a fairly well-known comedian in Los Angeles. He's amassed a loyal following both at his live shows and online, where he has more than 250,000 followers on Twitter, Instagram, and Vine. So, like, nothing against police officers, technically, but if 15% of the population thinks that your involvement makes the situation worse, maybe you suck at your job, right? I mean, no one calls the fire department and says, well, hmm, my house is on fire, but maybe if the fire department comes, they'll put gasoline on it. After a very successful headlining set at the Comedy Store, FX executives cast him as a series regular on the new J.K. Simmons sitcom, Lonesome Dan. As big comedy fans, we at the office were all stoked to hear about this up-and-comer achieving such meteoric success, but we did some digging and found something odd. There were no traces of where Kenny grew up in any of the articles or blog posts we searched. He never really talked about family or early life experiences in his act. It was as if he just showed up one day telling jokes. Then we got a letter. It was return addressed to Clotard and Olivier Vincent at an address just outside Phoenix. The letter claimed to be from Kenny's parents and they wanted to meet with us. Our interest peaked. We drove out to investigate. Upon walking in, it became very apparent that Kenny's parents were mimes, artists of another era, another genre entirely, practitioners of the art of silence. This begged a number of questions. So, uh, Olivier Clotard, uh, thanks very much for having me. Can I ask what prompted you to reach out to us? So he's a mime as well? Is there anything you want to say to Kenny? Anything you want to know? You can talk to the camera if you'd like. After learning the shocking truth about Kenny's origins, we needed to see if we could talk to him face to face. We tracked him to his apartment in Los Feliz and are about to confront him now. All right, I think this is the place, Kenny Vincent's house. Hi. Uh, hey, hi, man. Hi, uh, Kenny Vincent? Yeah. 
Hey, hi. We're, we're, we're big fans. We, uh, oh, oh, great. That's awesome. Uh, can I ask what this is about? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing a, a, a little like a project about comedy around town. Uh, we just wanted to ask you a couple questions. Uh, I mean... Are you a mime? I, I don't uh, understand the question. Simple yes or no question. Are you a mime? I'm not sure how to answer. Are you a mime? I listen. I've got a, I've got a lot of uh, stuff going you on. You talk to your so. parents, Olivier and Clotard. Oh, yeah. Do you hear that? My my phone's ringing. Sorry, I've got to got to take this. Hold on. 